I'm back. A couple of things before I get started today. Um, today I'm going to do um, two to three PCSs and upload them today. Um, as some of you know, I leave tomorrow uh, to go to Albany, New York. So I can take my CPNE exam. Uh, I test Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Sunday, I will go live. Um, let you guys know that I had I passed. It was a success, and also to answer, uh, have a Q and A, answer any questions that you guys may have about the the LPN to RN credit by exam and CPNE questions and answers about that uh, uh, as far as the CPN I'll disclose as much as I can without um, getting in any trouble so um, just the credit by exam um, because I don't really know about the online portion and all that I just know study test out move on complete the uh, theory portion, then CPNE. So um, my last one where I had fluid management, oxygen and respiration, I failed that PCS because before I left, I did not check the remaining fluid, IV fluid that was left and document that. And I did not um, check, record the um, intake and output. I probably wouldn't have forgot that on the site, but it doesn't matter. My practice PCS, PCS, I failed it. So what I learned from that, and that's the good thing about practicing, guys. As much as you can, make sure that you practice these PCS, PS, PCS, PCS is because you will get, it's the same of doing, any, doing anything. When you do something over and over again, you learn your mistakes and you figure out ways to not make that same mistake again. So that's why it's important to practice t these PCSs. Um, so what I learned is the my last box where I have scab for uh, side rails, call light, is there anything else, and uh, bed low and locked. That's what you wanna check when you leave out the room. In that box, I'm also gonna put in taking out, if, if I ha we will have fluid management so I will put intake and output in there and um, remained in uh, IV fluid things that I have to do at the end I will put in that box because even though it was in the box or whatever uh, on my grid or whatever in uh, my son was a distraction of course because you know at the end I had to get him or whatnot but still, before I got him, I was ending. I was talking to her as if I was done and I had not did the intake and output. And you will have distractions on site, probably. So the distractions is not an excuse. Um, you just have to make sure Sorry, I was just making sure my um, camera was on. My son's in the bedroom, and I have the um, monitor here watching him to make sure it was still running and not froze. But um, you just have to make the mistakes at home and figure out what can I do to assure that I don't make these same mistakes once I'm on the site. Um, let me see what else I want to... The only thing you have to document on as far as 20-minute checks is the fluid. Any fluid going inside the body. The parental fluid, IV solution fluid, uh, any feedings that's going inside the body. Those are the things you have to document on. You have to check the oxygen. You have to check the drainage. Uh, but you don't document on it. I learned that talking to my um, the uh, one of the faculty advisors. Uh, and... That day I was doing the recording, I said, and I stopped and answered the phone. I mean, looked at the phone. I wanted to see if it was the CE. I said they were supposed to call at 1. 
I was mistaken. My call wasn't until 7 p.m. And she called and we had a good talk. We went over the plan, plan of care. And, um, long, and what I can tell you about the plan of care is if it makes sense, it's, it's good. Don't think that you have to, because if you look at the examples that they give you um, on uh, the Excelsior Nursing NUR 702, they may go more in depth. And for instance, like I said, I would put an ice pack on a uh, the patient's uh, pen site because it will relieve itching. So when I checked uh, the uh, example, it said, uh, the cold will act as a uh, local anesthesia and it will give a therapeutic effect. I'm like, geez, mine wasn't nothing like that. But the people that are doing those examples are well advanced uh, nurses. Uh, and what I, this uh, faculty advisor informed me that what I put was sufficient and enough. It makes sense. So if it makes sense, don't trip about it or whatever. Just go ahead with it so I don't have my phone it's um, getting repaired so I'm not going to be doing the interaction with the CE today um, you could refer to previous videos that I did where I played the recording and uh, act as if I was interacting with the CE uh, what I will do is I'll do my plan of can plan of care uh, so before I start my PCSs, I will read my plan of care to you guys and let you know how I came up with my uh, priority diagnosis, interventions, and things like that. Mind you, my interventions will always, if appropriate, be whatever I am assigned. And you should take that and run with it. Don't try to make up your own interventions if you already have interventions in your plan of care assigned to you if you have comfort manage management and it says reposition uh that's an intervention so use the interventions that you are assigned with your manage uh management care don't wreck your brain trying to figure out what interventions i mean if, if if appropriate and nine times out of ten it will be appropriate so um so i'll go over my plan of care uh and let you guys know what i came up with and why and what evidence i had to come up with whatever i came up with i will do that in the beginning of the pcs um like i said i'm going to try to do oh i said two to three i'm going to try to do three to four i guess that's what i wrote <laughs> um Let's see what else I want to talk about. So that's it. That's all I want to talk about right now before I get started. Um, so make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell so you can get a notification when I go live Sunday. Um, so you can get a no notification when my videos upload today. Um, Make sure you have your notifications on under your settings in your phone so the alert will come to your phone and let you know, hey, Angela's going live. Um, when I go on there, I'll probably um, wait for about 10 minutes to see, uh, I'll probably jibber jabble, jibble, what is it called, jibber jabber? A little bit uh, to give people a chance to uh, log on so um, so that's that so my son sleep I'm gonna get started um, I'm gonna start off with my blow up dial Judy uh, once my son gets done eating he's gonna be a patient today um, and then I have a girlfriend coming over today she's gonna be a patient uh, and then I'm going to try to make up a scenario where my baby can be maybe not 100% sure on that where he could be a um, patient 
I mean, that would be good practice, but um, I don't know. We'll see. But uh, for sure, I'm going to try to get blow up dial, my son, and my homegirl today. That's three and um, maybe four. And who knows, tomorrow while I'm at the hotel room, I might uh, do something at the upload something at the hotel room. But I don't know. I really want to. I've learned that when testing, uh, once you study, 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 and once it comes time for you to test, you relax. You don't really try to cram study or whatnot. So I'm planning on relaxing while in New York and not really studying because um, I've done a lot of studying. And um, you guys want to know how I feel. I feel confident. Um, I'm excited. 16 months for this day. I've waited. 16 months. <sighs> it is what it is. I had a baby in the meantime. I worked a lot. Um, I worked I took the first three months off this year. Then I worked uh, April, May, June, July, August. I had him August 29th, five months. Five months, I probably, let me see. Five months, I probably made 10. 20 maybe about twenty thousand dollars i'll see at tax time <laughs> i was grinding um and it's money to be made and uh i just look forward to the future and i don't end here whatever i do i'll you guys are my buddies now so um, I will keep you guys on the journey uh, as I move forward to what's next. Uh, so that's that. And like I said, let me get started before he wakes up. All right.